So welcome back. So I've moved back to the Mac now. Um, it shouldn't be, again, all the things I just did on Windows, they should just work on the Mac. But if you have problems, put them in the comments and I'll add videos to figure out how to also get up and running on Mac. But I pretty much just inside my WebStorm went into and opened my specific uh, folder that we just made together. So just as I did in the Windows machine. I added the terminal down here by writing the command uh, shift A action and writing terminal and it pops up and you can of course just press enter and it shows up and you can place it wherever you want. I put it down here and um, I also opened the browser just to make sure that my course planner is actually running. So I did an ng serve, right? So we're pretty much up and running. Now, next step I think would be to kind of just get an overview of what we actually build in the very first when we did the ng in it, when we made our first application from scratch. So I'm just going to run over the folder structure here with you. Let me zoom a lot just to get you guys, give you guys an idea. So this folder, let's ignore it for now, but it's end-to-end -end testing. We might look at that later. I'm, I'm, I definitely want to go there later, but not right now. What else do we have? We have the readme file. That was the one we built ourselves to write something on the GitHub server. We have um, uh, the package.json file. Let's open that. That's a very important file. This is actually where you define your course uh, sorry, your project, and it's when you define a project um, in pretty much any node system, you have to define um, a package.json file. So this is a, a very general file that you want to use. We'll run over the file, but it has stuff like what are we our dependencies in the project? What do we need to pull down from npm? It has stuff like what are we do we have of dependencies for development alone? It has information about the project, the version. Uh, the license, etc. So you put a lot more in here, and we're going to build some scripts later, probably, and put them in here. That's the package JSON file. We have some protractor, some comma. We have some that's testing files. We have um, the get ignore file, like I talked about. Pretty much just tells you what we should ignore when we upload. And notice node modules is in there because we don't want to upload node modules. You could, you'll have to do an npm install when you download my project because I don't want to fill up my. Um, my github space with all the node modules so that's why that one is ignored etc etc what else do we have so we have a tslint file here looking something like that and what is tslint well let's have a look i go into chrome and i google tslint and i found this one so tslint checks your typescript code for readability maintainability and functional errors so it's pretty much just a way for us to validate our code is okay and that's already set up for you so you don't have to spend too much time there and we might look at this later to give you some more information on it, but not right now. So that's kind of the outer layer here. Then let's go into the source folder, which is the next layer. And I'm just going to grab the first, the outer layer here of this one as well. And then we'll take a small break and dive into the other ones. Uh, we have a TS config file here. This is for um, different compiler options when we are actually building the code. Uh, so actually we compile the code into JavaScript and these are kind of the settings that we want to use to actually build JavaScript code from TypeScript code. Uh, we have a test file here. We have some style CSS. That's pretty much the specific style for your code. So here we can, we later we're going to have font awesome, which is a style library. We're going to import that, etc., etc. We have a main TS. That's kind of where it all begins. We fire the bootstrap module for the specific app module, which we'll look at in a second. And we have our index file and a thorough icon. So these are, this is the icon you see on the page. If I go in here, you'll see that icon up here. That's the thorough icon, etc. Uh, so this, this is pretty basic web development information. Index file is always kind of the file that launches it all. This is where we start our Angular application. I'll get into that next video. What else do we have? Under the app folder is the actual application that we're going to build. Under assets, there are Im images if you want to. We don't have that right now. Environment. So we have for environment for production and development, right? So here's uh, the dev setup, production falls, and this is the production, it's true. It, we can make better environment setup, we'll do that later as well. So that's the structure. Now let's write some code next time, have fun.